How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this video we're going to be going over my first prints and initial thoughts of the ANET ET4X. The overall technical specs of this printer are pretty good considering its sub $200 price point. It has a 220x220x250mm build volume, it prints in PLA with a heated bed, and you can connect to your computer using USB or an SD card. The printer ships as a kit, and it takes a few hours to put it together. I was pretty happy with the overall process and didn't really have any problems. ANET sent me this printer to review, and I wanted to share my first thoughts and initial impressions now that I have it up and running. This won't be a full detailed review, that should be coming later, but this is just to share some thoughts I have about the machine. The software setup was really straightforward, I used Cura 4.6, which had a profile for the machine already built into it. The first test I ran was the calibration cat, just to see how accurate the printer was. I read that the SD card that ships with these machines is faulty, so I used a freshly formatted card of my own and didn't have any problems. For my first print, I used the 0.15mm layer height setting in Cura with no modifications, just to see how the printer performs using default settings. Before printing, I did a manual calibration of the bed, and I didn't have any problems there. The printer worked well out of the box, and I didn't really have any complaints about the setup, assembly, or calibration. The first thing I noticed about the machine was that the stepper motors are a little louder than the Prusa that I'm used to. You can hear some of them here. There are upgraded versions of the ET4 available that come with higher quality stepper drivers that make a little bit less noise. For a sub $200 entry level machine, it's still pretty good. The first print that I ran on the machine was a success, but you'll notice you can see the infill clear through the outer shell. If we go into Cura, we can take a look at the toolpath and notice that if we scroll through the model, we can see the infill and the interface with the outer shell. There are only two perimeters here, which is causing the infill to be visible through the shell. This is easily addressable in the software, and we'll fix this for our next print. The calibration cat is also useful to measure dimensional accuracy, and I was pretty surprised when I found that it was pretty much dead on both in the X and Y when I measured it. For an under $200 printer, again, this is pretty impressive. For my next model, I used the low poly cat that I designed in Blender, and I increased the wall line count, which is the number of external perimeters, and I changed that to 4 instead of 2. You'll see here in the printed model, it's got a fairly thick shell, so the infill is no longer visible in the model. You can also do a slice preview, and you'll notice that you have multiple concentric contours tracing the external perimeter of the model. Just changing this setting alone made a huge difference, and the model that I printed looked really good. The overall quality of the model was pretty solid, and the exterior shell looks nice and clean. I also 3D printed a vase, using a special mode in Cura called Spiralize Outer Contour, also known as Vase Mode. This creates one upward continuous helical toolpath instead of the discrete stepped layers that we're used to seeing on 3D prints. Using this mode dramatically reduces print time, in this case an 18 hour print went down to 3 hours. I was really happy with the quality of the model, and you can see it's a very even, consistent finish, especially considering its rapid print time. To summarize, the ANET ET4X is a pretty solid machine, especially considering its under $200 price tag. It's a straightforward build, and you're able to get quality parts off of it without a whole lot of tweaking. I plan on making more videos using this printer, so feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions. As always, thanks for watching, and have fun printing!